and welcome to introdu introduction to data and computer networks. I'm Muhammad Ikram and today I will talk about how internet works. So as we know in recent years internet has become an integral part of our lives. Although most of us know how to use internet without actually understanding how it works. Sort of like electricity in our home and offices. So we use electricity but may not understand the mechanics behind it. Internet is basically a multifaceted <coughs> system with many component and diverse feature for the ease of presentation i would like you to understand and think of internet as a wire to which we can connect our devices via fiber optics cell phone networks and occasionally via satellite networks internet is very useful because two computers connected directly to this wire can communicate and exchange crucial information and um and, and data a server is a special computer directly connected to the internet and web pages are basically the files on the hard drive of the server. On the other hand, computers that we use every day are called clients because they are connected indirectly to the internet via internet service providers such as Telstra via links such as digital subscriber link. Every device on the internet has unique internet protocol address, but it is it is hard for humans to remember the addresses of web servers. We also give name which we call domain names to these IP addresses. Whenever an email or picture um, travels around <coughs> around the internet, computer break them into pieces that are called packets. The packet may be received in the in any particular order by the destination, so they are reassembled to generate the original email, picture, or, or website. So imagine the setting of the classroom where I am presenting the slide hosted on our MIT server and you are updating your Facebook profile. We both are sending packets back and forth on the internet, but what is to keep your packet from accidentally landing on my screen that would be very embarrassing indeed if it happens the solution to this problem is solution to this sort of problem is the ip addresses in the router which is special devices that connect any two or more parts of internet helping each packet to get one hop closer to destination imagine that <coughs> each packet is a candy um, uh, wrapped in several layer with the first layer is your device ip address your computer send the packet to your first router which add its own IP address as another layer. At each time your computer, your, your packet reaches a new router, another layer is added until it reach, reaches to the server as shown in, in this animation. When the server sends back information, uh, information, it creates packets with identical wrapping as the packet makes its way ways over the internet back to your computer each router unwraps the layer to discover where to send the packets packet next until it reaches to your computer a router do this with the help of a list about neighboring devices and router uh, and other routers which we call uh, we call this list as a routing table which we will detail in our in detail in the rest of the course uh, <coughs> the rest of this course and this is how internet works. In the coming lecture, we will study the fundamental of computer networks and we will cover the concept and a protocol and model and standards. Please do not forget to collect the handout explaining the terms and detailing the concept about today's lecture. Thank you very much. See you next.